like a giant CD player. Hi, I'm Danny with Retro Camera Review, and today we're getting to look at this amazing iMac system in the Cyport Center, and I'm here with John, theater director, who's going to show me kind of how it works and stuff like that. Okay, the iMac system is a 1570 format, which is the largest motion picture format in the world. So we're running 65 millimeter film. Mm -hmm. This is this is our, our Mark I reel unit. That's what this reel unit is. These are just the, the film rollers. This controls the, the payout speed of the platter. If it's going too slow, it'll, it'll tighten up, and this, that tells this unit to, to speed up. Basically, they're gonna thread from here to the projector. Projector is a rolling loop, so you have to have the proper amount of film between your rotor. Once you get that set up, you go and you set it up on the take up. Gotta check everything to make sure it's right. You don't wanna right. damage any film. Then you set up your sound. You're, there's no sound on this print. To make the image as large as possible, there's no soundtrack on there. We run 24 frames a second, which 24 frames of this is a little over six feet of film per second. That's a ton, so it's moving fast. Okay, this is an IMAX 1570 GT projector. It's got a water-cooled 1570 Xenon arc lamp in it, right in here. So basically we, we create a loop in here and then it rolls across here. And then the film is vacuumed onto the aperture each frame is peeled off. Everything out here is payout. The tube in the center is, is hollow. It's nothing but um, air exhaust. So we're sucking about 800 cubic feet a minute of air through the projector and out of the room. That's so that's pulling heat away from the optics and the film and away from the lamp. So this is an argon-based system. So basically, it shuts the, the dampers of the air conditioner going to the room. If the system were to discharge, it pretty much fills the room with, an, with a heavier-than-air argon gas. Yeah. That would put out the fire before it gets too far. Not all the platters we have are magnesium, but some of them are magnesium. Right. And if you get a magnesium platter hot enough to burn, uh -huh. once it's ignited, it creates its own oxygen. So, I mean, it, it becomes basically a fire that's very, very hard to extinguish. Um, it's a dome system, so yeah. projectors down into the projection room right now. When we're showing a movie, it goes up into the theater. Well, we're going behind the screen. Oh, behind the screen, okay. That's, oh, crazy, look at... Uh-huh, that's the skin of the dome. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Well, that's the shipping cases. Yeah, yeah they go by freight. Okay. A typical movie weighs probably about 350 pounds. Okay. So, I mean, we slide it onto the genie lift and then we move it to the closet, yeah. slide it in the closet. and sort So of. this makes it to where you can have one person yeah. in here instead of two. Okay. Otherwise, it takes two men to, to pick up a movie and move two it and all that, yeah. yeah. Now you see how the port closure flips down? Everything is tied in that doghouse, basically an acoustic cover. So that's taking all that projector noise and not putting a lot of it in the theater. Over here we have a dubber, 35 millimeter soundtrack. Uh, go forward or backwards with it. We also put it on a start mark when we start the film. So this thing would like, like a little maze. Uh -huh. It reels, <laughs> it, it wind it from here to here to here and then down. Okay. Just like an, you know, any other reel-to-reel -reel yeah. tape deck. And it, has to be, it would have to be synchronized with all of that somehow. Yeah, there's a shaft encoder in the projector okay. that feeds a pulse to the sound system. So every time that rotor turns, it feeds a, a certain pulse. The sound system counts that pulse, and that's how we keep the sound in sync with the picture. We run about 18,000 amps. 18,000 amps. The film systems out there are slowly going digital, um, okay. and, and we'll, we will go digital eventually. Yeah. Um, but I think there's close to 200 okay. in the world. So that's not a lot. That's, that's pretty specific. I mean, we're the only IMAX dome theater in the state of Louisiana. Well, thanks for showing me so much of that stuff, and uh, I think our audience will really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. The, yeah. All right, see you next time, and uh, like or subscribe if you like this video, and check out Sideboard. So just so you know, Cyport has a lot more going on than just the IMAX stuff that we looked at. If you're in the Shreveport, Louisiana area, you can also check out the upstairs, which has this pop center power of play. 
And honestly, it just looks cool because if I was a kid, I would really want to play here. Like, this is awesome. I, I can't believe they have like such a nice thing for people to do here, especially if you have rambunctious children that need to go do something. That's great. <laughs> that's amazing. This is like the best place ever for kids. Little construction worker running around, that's great.